हे गाइस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू जेन इनोवेशन इन्वर्टर्स गाइस दीज आर हम्बल मशीन्स विच टेक द डी सी एनर्जी विच कम्स फ्रॉम द बैटरी बैंक एंड कन्वर्ट इट टू ए सी टू थर्टी वोल्ट्स और सो एंड जस्ट लाइक एवरी अदर मशीन दिस इन्वर्टर और दिस काइंड ऑफ कन्वर्टर ऑल्सो यूजेस अ बिट ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर इट सेल्फ नाउ द एनर्जी दैट इट कंज्यूम्स फॉर इट सेल्फ इज नोन एज आइडल ड्रॉ और सेल्फ पावर consumption so i have this particular inverter over here this is the 24 volt model it's a very heavy duty inverter very old and if you want to know more about this then the video can be found over here in the i button or in the description below so what this inverter is doing is it's taking 24 volt dc from this particular battery bank yes this is a dc 24 volt uh, battery bank and it is absolutely monstrous if you want to know more about this battery bank again a dedicated video is available in the description or over here in the i button so what it's doing is it's converting this 24 volt into the mains voltage which is ac 230 volts in my area but in today's experiment what we are going to do is we are going to remove each and every kind of load we are going to disconnect it from the mains and then we are going to check what kind of power does this machine use for itself which is for running the components inside this machine that would be the mosfets the transformers the display and so on which is going to be the idle power consumption of this machine now to ensure that there is no amount of confusion with this video what i'll have to do is i'll have to remove the mains supply as well as disconnect any kind of load so here the only load which remains on this battery bank is just the idle running of this inverter so i'll do all of this stuff what you guys need to do is uh, go down there and hit those nice little like and subscribe buttons and let's begin today's video guys i have bypassed the inverter so let me show you what i have done so this is the output board socket of this particular inverter and yes i have made this myself at home and if you want to know what i did and how i made it this again a dedicated video over here so the load is completely disconnected the mains charging plug of this inverter is dangling over here this used to be over here if you remember so that is now out and to let the load to let the light of my house uh, remain functional what i've done is i've bypassed the load so this uh, little wire you can see what it does is it comes here from the mains and it it goes back into the very same board so what it will do is it will uh, completely bypass the inverter situation and it allows uh, my house load my fans and lights to be running using the grid energy due to this bypass so at this moment this inverter is uh, well and truly absolutely disconnected from the load as well as from the mains section but where it is connected is it's connected to this giant battery bank using these thick dc wires and to measure the consumption today what i'm going to use is this a nice little uh, trusty clamp meter let me hit zero properly so that we'll be ready to measure and if you want to buy a nice clamp meter like this one then i'll provide a few buying links in description below for you please consider using my affiliate links for your purposes so what i'll do is now i'll turn this thing on and then we'll be able to see the kind of self power consumption of this inverter in the absence of any load as well as the mains energy so are you ready 3 2 1 and there we go and here the multimeter has started showing a value and the value is just half an ampere guys this thing actually surprised me at how efficient this large 24 volt inverter is because considering this uh, machine is a heavy duty beast it has a very large transformers the heat sinks and everything are huge so considering that i'm actually impressed by the kind of idle consumption of this inverter which is just half an amp and if you multiply half an amp by 24 volt battery bank yes this is a 24 volt battery bank and this is a 24 volt inverter so if i multiply these values which is a half an amp multiplied by 24 the answer we get is just 12 watts of energy are being used by this inverter 
to keep itself alive to keep itself working so that is the idle consumption of this 24 volt model guys if you're interested in knowing the idle consumption of a 12 volt models then we have measured quite a few devices and you can find all of those links down below in the description section of this video so what i'm going to do is just use this button to shut it down you guys hit those nice little like and subscribe buttons down below and we'll meet in another informative video take care and have a nice day guys